<laughs> Welcome back, Condors Unleashed, Bakersfield.com, my 45. Our mics weren't live during the break, were they? I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> Although we found out that, that Fraser is going to be a sizzling single in February. So it's yeah, great. Yeah, this is great. great. Yeah, see, it's on camera. It must be true. Must be true. <laughs> Ryan Holt, Kevin Bartle, Mark Frazier uh, in between us uh, here on Condors Unleashed. Uh, Condors getting set for a five-game road trip through Christmas. And then, of course, Winterfest starting on December 23rd all the way through January 7th. Come out, public skating, zip line, obstacle courses, food trucks, beer, wine, all sorts of fun. Hot, ch- hot cocoa, maybe put a little Bailey's in there. Sounds like a great time. Yeah, see? Yeah. I think what? you got to bring your own Baileys. I think you have to bring your own Baileys. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if that's le- – again, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble we're not, here. We're not going to – you know. We're not going to frisk you at the door. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> people would fly. I'm just envisioning people that's with great. Class. And they'll be like, Holty told me I could do yeah. it. Yeah, it's hard yeah, like, on TV. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's yeah. right. It's hard on the show, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mark Fraser, our guest uh, here for our players segment. And uh, it goes by the name Big Sugar. It's on the sticks. So it, it's yeah. the Twitter yeah. handle. So we got to ask, where did where did the nickname come from? Where did it start? And uh, um, it's, beca- it's taken on a life of its own. Here, yeah, right? I wish <laughs> I, I wish there was actually a better story for it, really. But it, uh, it was just from my days in Toronto. And a teammate of mine, Mike Koska, we were both just uh, stretching in, in the gym, and it was one of those satellite like music channels okay. was on, and it said in the corner, the next featured artist is a song coming by Big Sugar, and he just was like, that'd be a really funny name for you, oh. and s- the birth of Big Sugar there just was right there, and it uh, once our coach was Dallas Akins at the time, and once he said it in a meeting. And refer to me as Shug. It was kind of just it ran from there. Once yeah. the coach calls you, refers to you as something, <laughs> everyone in the room now knows you by that name. So, so I've been I've been around hockey for a long time, man. Yeah. I've never seen anybody with their nickname on the sticks, yeah. <laughs> and it's like printed. It's not like on the tape, yeah. and you write it in sharpie. Like who did you? Who do you know, you know at what? the stick company that, uh, to get that? That that actually again had nothing to do with me. That was courtesy of another former. Um, Oilers employee, Matty Mitchell, who was the equipment manager yeah. in Oklahoma yep. before the team moved here. And, uh, yeah, last year I had him in Binghamton. We had been together uh, in the Devils you organization. had him in Lowell. Ten years, exactly, ten years yeah. ago. Um, and, uh, yeah, he just – one day I asked for a new stick, just, you know, had broken one, and it showed up in my rack, as, which is a normal occurrence. Uh, but he didn't tell me that he had secretly gone out and changed the name for Fraser to Big Sugar on them. It's a little surprise. It's uh, hilarious. But yeah, now it's just again, it's one of those things that someone else did, but now it's just stuck. And it's not going to change. And now, his his protege, Al Oman, who's the Condors equipment. Yeah, manager, who so. oddly enough has gotten me gloves now. Who, as a surprise, had oh big, yeah. So it's these other a lot of other players in this that are uh, kind of yeah bringing <laughs> life to the name. Like an equipment legend. Here, man. <laughs> yeah, everyone's gonna be like, oh, I want my nickname yeah. on my gloves. <laughs> yeah. ESPN you're like now you're. Not big no, shook. Yeah, big I shook guess. gets Only his name on his gloves. That off, That's right. right. Yeah. ESPN's doing a, a thirty for thirty on the XFL. One of the big parts of the oh, XFL yeah. was yeah, you I could wear whatever you wanted on uh, your name yeah, bar. That's he true. Hate me. I think we need to start. I, uh, big I think shook on the back of the jersey. At least with like the warm up jersey. You know, yeah. maybe yeah. start I'll start off. We'll there. start on the warm ups. All yeah. right. With the AHL, you got to kind of like dip your toe in first and then see yeah. how it plays. Yeah. Ask then... for forgiveness afterwards. <laughs> yeah. So you just do it one day. I mean, we can just put LB on the back. That'd we can have Wasty. Yeah. I mean, oh, Platts. I mean, this is, this could really take I like off. Those. those would sell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this could take off the <laughs> big good. the big Shug jersey. Uh, obviously, I mean, 10-year pro now. Uh, you've been around just about everywhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, you've seen just about uh, every place around North America. Uh, what made your decision to, to come to Bakersfield and, and to – you know, get after it here this year and, and in the Oilers organization, a place where you were familiar with in terms of uh, being with them. Yeah, that was probably a large part of it um, was the familiarity I would have had with the organization already and uh, conversations, I guess, uh, in free agency with them. It was it was just a comfortable, comfortable feeling. Um, but also knew as far as uh, going into a new organization or having to make, uh, you know, a new first impression. A lot of that had already been taken care of given my, my uh, you know, previous time spent here. Um, that was a lot to play into it, and you know, knowing kind of where I am now, so my career obviously still with the, the goals of of being up top, just like everybody else, but knew that I could, um, you know, be in a position of adding depth, but as well, uh, you know, I guess help groom some of the, the youth here as well, and and uh, I've been in much worse places than having to play hockey in California, so that <laughs> yeah. that that was a nice selling point. As well. yeah. how, how big, much big sugar, yeah. Nike, California. <laughs> yeah. How much yeah. did? Uh, how much did Ryan Hamilton factor into this? Obviously, you guys go back to your yeah. Toronto days and uh, obviously through Oklahoma City as well. But uh, how, how, how important was it to have a guy like that where you knew, you know, 
this is a guy I can trust and he's selling me on this. And, yeah, and for whatever. sure. Um, you know, it wasn't necessarily the, you know, the, the final, uh, decision or point in, in me making the decision, but it, um, I remember it, it's, it's definitely something that, uh, again, just adds that extra level of comfort and especially being vets and being guys who we got along so well together in our Toronto days. Um, but when he first called me after I had signed, it had been, uh, I don't know, probably a few weeks, I guess, after I signed back with the organization, he called just to kind of, I'll just touch base and kind of give me the, uh, I guess the, the, let me know what the format was down here and what it was going to look like and what the guys were like, what the coaches were like. And we spoke for like an hour and a half, just, just very candidly. I remember that afternoon and it was, uh, it was just one of those really nice catching up with an old friend moments. I was like, well, that's like, this is going to be pretty cool being back with Hammer because we, we clearly have a really good bond and I have a ton of respect for the guy. Um, and I couldn't be happier to, to be reunited with a guy like that. You know, veteran guy, uh, your career, I, I mean, you've had, what is it, 10 years now, 10, 11 yeah, seasons? Yeah, my 11th, yeah. I mean, you, do you have things in your career that you haven't accomplished that you want? What boxes need to be checked off here? Yeah, I have, a, I have a lot. There's a lot of boxes. Some of them are starting to become further and further away from my reach, given my, you know, <laughs> the age that you're at. But it's um, the reality, you yeah. know, of being a pro athlete. Yeah. You know you have a fine. Like, I don't think my number is going to be retired with the New Jersey Devils anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so that box probably not hey, going to be. Out of yeah. there. You, yeah. might, you might slide back in. But, uh, no, definitely still, I mean, still have a lot of goals. That's that's never going to change. There's goals that I still have that I would have had as, you know, the eight-year-old wanting to do what I'm doing now and seeing this potential future ahead of my, my myself. Um and then there's, you know, still consistent goals that I'm, I'm kind of every year or maybe even every month I'm kind of trying to approach uh, for where I am in my career, both individual and what I can do for my teammates and my team as well. But uh, I think the competitive nature in myself and in most athletes, that never really, it never stops. Um, like I said earlier, there's, I think all of us, all of us at least should have the desire to want to get better and to want to get to that next level. And for a guy like myself, it'd be getting back to that next level. Um, and uh, there's there's a lot of things we can do down here, uh, both on and off the ice, to try to achieve such goals. Um, and that's just part of my job as being here is to to show up and be the true professional, uh, to try to check a few more boxes in my own career, but also help be some guidance um, for other guys who are trying to check a few of, of their own boxes as well. Right. We talked earlier this week. Uh, Sugar was part of the outdoor game in Michigan. Didn't mm-hmm. get a chance to play in that one. That one was in the snow, Detroit and Toronto. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think it was a blizzard. Uh, they had yeah. to stop the game at least 10 times every period to, to clean up the snow. <laughs> yeah. The one uh, the one on January the 7th with the Condors in the rain going to be a lot warmer. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be much more pleasant. Yeah. It's going to be a nice <laughs> evening. Uh, I, I know it's a little bit off in terms of we have eight games until then. Uh, but do you guys kind of get the sense of, you know, hey, this is anticipated and, and we're looking forward to this here in a couple I, of weeks? I think definitely it, it is now. Um, I'm starting to see some of those commercials now on TV with all the guys <laughs> wearing the sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, uh, yeah, Hammer looks really funny in that commercial. <laughs> it looks like the old man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, no, yeah, I'm starting to see that. And it's, uh, it's, it's yeah, it's the time of year. Um, I think there's a lot of excitement around it. Um, place just down the street where I go to get my hair cut. The guys in the shop are talking about it. Everyone's going to go. You know what's um, good? If, you, if the barber shop is talking exactly about it, it man. you exactly. know it, you that's know the word happening. of the street. Exactly. Right? It's yeah, happening. Yeah, that's exactly. It. That's where I go to get my news. So the fact that those guys are talking about it, I think there's a lot of people in the community as well as us um, that are definitely looking forward to it. And, and like, as you mentioned, I, I was a part of what was one of the largest outdoor games, except for the fact that I didn't play in it. Um, I was just a healthy scratch. So yeah. This is going to be my first attempt at an outdoor game, which will be uh, really cool as well. Who would have thought? Again, California. Exactly. Palm trees, yeah. man. It's just yeah. beautiful. So the public skating starts December 23rd. You can go out there basically 4 to 9 every day. The only day it's not open is Christmas Day. Uh, we'll have a Condors open practice on that January 6th, the day before the game. Uh, it'll be an open practice prior to the alumni game. The open practice will be at uh, noon. Uh, so you can come out for that, and then you can come out for the alumni game, of course, uh, on January the 6th. Connors will have a family skate as well out there, too. So it's going to be a lot of fun uh, over the course of those 18 days. we got to get to five questions. You oh, get yeah. the five questions? You got them? Yeah. yeah? Well, right. I don't have so all five. I didn't, I didn't tee, five? I didn't, normally, I tee the guys up for this. I didn't tee up Big no. Shug, So uh, uh, So we're putting you on the hot seat okay. here. Five questions. They're very difficult. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, your first one. Uh, <laughs> Your biggest fear? <laughs> uh, cold water. 
Really? Cold yeah. Water. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, frigid cold water. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Like I like cold tubs. Okay. Like, yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, All right, okay. uh, if you could have one superhero he this, he power, this question. one superhero okay. power, what would it be? To fly, yeah. for sure, yeah. Everyone's yeah, I, in on the flying. Yeah. People I'm, love the fly. How could you not? Right? <laughs> Imagine I could just fly home right now. It's true. <laughs> exactly. Dude, it's uh, probably not where I'd go if I could fly. But right. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, right, right. I got you. <laughs> Speaking of flying, uh, a place you haven't been uh, that, that you've always wanted to visit, uh, whether it be in, in the United States or around the world? Um, Croatia. Right now. I would say Croatia is that's all. My, I'm very wow. fortunate that I've been able to be fairly well traveled. Um, I, I would say that's just that's just on my list right now. Oh. That's one the of those beaches? boxes. The beaches yeah. are like in the big city Everywhere. Zagreb. Or? Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere. Spent a couple of weeks touring it all. All right. Yeah. Very good. All right. Uh, so uh, your favorite food that you like to eat and not mm. tell Pat Love that you just ate uh, that. <laughs> um, well, there's not much of that because I don't have. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'll tell Pat anything. I don't. Really <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. what's he gonna do to him? Pat doesn't That's scare true. me. Yeah, <laughs> six three, yeah. two hundred ten pounds. Uh, I'm just not saying. afraid of getting in trouble from from him. Um, <laughs> Let's see. One of my guilty pleasures. Uh, I mean, I love pizza, but I'm also as a big guy, I could eat a lot of pizza. <laughs> so <it's, laughs> everyone loves pizza, but I think it's more of a quantity thing for me. Yeah, that, I got that's, you. Yeah, that's somewhat right. of the guilty pleasure. Can so you last, put down a whole large? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Last one. It's rapid fire. Uh, someone you haven't met a celebrity who you'd like to meet, or this or is can... so interesting actually because I was just talking about this and how. Whenever this question is posed, I always feel like I just had someone great to say like a week ago. Now I can't remember. <laughs> but I remember. I have, right. I have two of them right now. And I would say um, if I could do this actually like this dinner together, I would say uh, the musician, the artist Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. And Barack Obama huh? would be my. I think it would make for some really interesting dinner conversation. Huh. And Kendrick's from LA. Yeah. You can get down there. There you go. And yeah, see, you know he's popping around. Does he play yeah. hockey? Let's yeah. Get does him for he want to yeah. get the yeah. alumni? Maybe game. he wants to come by. <laughs> What's yeah. Barack doing? Yeah. He's yeah. done. Seriously. He can just yeah. come to the alumni. Yeah. Got nothing to do. <laughs> Shug, we appreciate the time. Hey, thank Thanks thank for dropping by. We really appreciate it. your time. Thank you very much. That's yeah. Connor's defenseman, Mark Frazier. When we come back, Lauren Kaufman from the Connor's Community Relations Department will join us. We'll talk some Winterfest. We'll talk some 5K, and we'll talk the big jersey auction. Over thirty thousand dollars raised over the weekend we'll step out take a break this is condors unleashed my 45 bakersfield.com